Look after this, it's Max, and today I'm going to be doing a one time five pound video with extra animals by Hero So, to start off with, I have this 90 pound paper, I think, and the Siberian Husky stamp from the site. It's a dog stamp, I don't know what kind of dog it is. And I'm going to be stamping that all over the paper with Memento Tuxedo Black ink by Tukunigo. And I actually think the Siberian Husky was just a wolf. So I'm sorry for that, but my animal skills are horrible. So I'm just going to be stamping all of the animals in the back. So there's a cat, there's a bear, there's a dog, there's a wolf, there's an owl, there's a polar bear, and there's a rabbit. So I'm just stamping those all over in a kind of a random pattern, trying to turn it because that kind of makes it more random. And I'm trying to fill in most of the gaps, but not too many of them because I kind of want to see the space out. And I'm also trying to stamp all the edges as well, so it kind of turns out alright in the end. So that's all the animals, and now I'm going to be stamping in the glasses of the animals. So I don't like to put glasses on all the animals, but most of the animals. But I didn't want to have them all stamped. And now I think I'm using hats, I did hats. I'm still using the Memento to clean up that ink by Sukuniko. So that everything done, I think, with moustaches and pipes and everything that I will need. <laughs> and I'm just cutting the thing into quarters because I'm going to make four cards with it. So I think the paper, all the background should be about like half a pound too. But when you divide that by four, it, it's not too bad for like one card. And now I'm going to be stamping Happy Birthday four times same ink on the same paper and it the hot part they come from the set and I'm going to be using two different lines so it's like the one is the hexagon backable and the other is the backable and I'm just going to be cutting those out and I try to center it as much as possible it really didn't work out that well and now I put some foam tape behind the sentiments and I'm just going to be sticking that down so I can see and it'd be good if I didn't Stick it upside down, but I didn't try to convert it. Now we get this um down paper. It's ninety pound square, well, ninety pound um, grass square. Maybe. And I also have the paper in the background. This could be stamping like all the animals. One of the cards was inspired by Christine Moore and one of the videos that she made, and that kind of inspired me to get the stamps of the Frederick, so I kind of wanted to be inspired from her. And yeah, um, it took me time to figure it all out, but in the end, I got there. So you can see me just stamping all the animals. I'm just stamping the dog there. Now everything's done, I'm going to start stamping the accessories, now the hats, the moustaches, the pipes, the glasses, on all of them. So you can see. And I really like the look of the polar bear with the beanie and the striped glasses. I think that's just so perfect. So I tried to do that in most of the polar bears. I couldn't do it in all of them, but in most of them. And I also added a sentiment at the bottom of those. I think I used happy birthday, you're perfect, something like that. So this is me just stamping the glasses. And I also really like the hipster glasses, all the nerdy glasses. I think they're very tiny. So I'm just stamping the glasses. And I tried to center it as much as possible, but if they weren't centered, it wasn't such a disaster in the end. So I wasn't really worried about it. Uh, it's better for centers. And I'm just adding the moustache on so like maybe not all the animals, but like some of the animals. And now I'm adding the sentiment. So I think I can go perfect, like perfect and poppy perfect, not happy but poppy. Um, I think that's all I use for sentiment for the colors. They're kind of hard to use for cards. I don't want to use those kind of cards, so yeah. 
and I, I just use it for the bugs. Now I'm using my Discraft Artis watercolor markers, 12 pack set, and I'm just going to be kind of putting a border on and then blending it in with my Pentel Aquabar brush and um, water brush. And there's only three skin tone sets in the new craft set. I wish there was more, but there's two oranges and the nice of them like a peach. But I guess you get what you get in the end. So I'm just doing that for all of them. And I also used some um, alcohol markers and I did some mixes as well for them. And for the years of this bag, I was kind of taking it off the the pen with my brush and then painting it off and then like kind of palette. And now that I'm all colored, well some of them are colored, I'm going to be using four colors of pro markers and I'm going to be blending that so I either added brush or oatmeal, those are my two lighter colors, all over it and then I put some on top, either apricot or sandstone. And then I just blended that out, and I think I did brush and sandstone and oatmeal and ink across. Now I kind of might have mixed it at the same time. And now I just have some gelatos, and they're coming from the 12 pack set. And I just have a base there of yellow, and I put lots more on before I had to be very careful because the ink is the humor ink that I refilled it with, so it's kind of blue a bit, I'm not too happy about that. And then for that account, I just used some green and some blue on top. And I did bond all of them onto basically a personal paper, most of them. I Sorry I didn't show that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Hope you like this video and bye.